tell quiet behind her right now. Of course, Reed supporters have been outside of that courtroom for weeks and weeks. Yeah, and today they cheered. They were all smiles as Reed walked out of the courtroom. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa continues our breaking team coverage from Jed and, and Tammy. Uh, some of these people were there every single day. Yeah, David and Lisa, they were. But, you know, this mistrial is not the outcome anyone wanted. On one hand, Reed supporters are happy she's not behind bars, but they think she is not guilty. And on the other hand, supporters for Officer John O'Keefe say he still deserves real justice. <laughs> deeply divided in the courtroom, deeply divided on the street. Karen Reed supporters erupting in cheers, then quickly dispersing after a mistrial was declared in her high profile murder trial. We are not happy it's a mistrial. We wanted Karen Reed to be declared not guilty. We know Karen Reed is not guilty. Oh, a first grader will tell you that she's not guilty. The tension building for five days as the deadlock jury could not overcome their impasse. Police barricading the front of the Norfolk County Superior Court as the news arrived. They want. How do I feel? You know, I feel that there was significant evidence by the defense that showed that Karen Reed did not kill John O'Keefe. Karen Reed was framed, pure and simple. No justice, no peace. Before the mistrial, dressed in blue, supporters for Officer John O'Keefe took their own corner of the court. Some saying a hung jury is better than a not guilty verdict because Officer O'Keefe still deserves justice. I could not believe that people actually believe this conspiracy theory because she is clearly guilty and it makes me really, really sad. So whether some believe Karen Reed killed her boyfriend with her SUV or that she was framed, the division in the jury reflecting in the community and now no one wins. For a long time, I believed she was innocent and I didn't support him, okay? And then over time, I looked further into the evidence and I realized, oh my God, she's actually, she did it. And again, both sides saying they'll be back here again when this entire process starts over. And it is hard to believe for some people that this process is starting all over again. But then again, it is also not. Live in Dedham, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News.